Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. Welcome to the lovely Kakamega County. We have a thrilling edition of the Great Debaters Contest for you. I am your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyambok. Our motion today is Africa remains challenged by conflicts because many African nations were not ready for independence. Moi Girls Vokoli versus Butere Boys. We are looking for the greatest debater. We'll let the first proposer take the stage. You have three minutes. We are here to strongly and firmly propose the motion that says, Africa remains challenged by conflict as many nations are not ready for independence. Let me show you this. Africa is, is one of the continents of the world that comprises the 54 countries. Among them is the Kenya. Independence, this is the state when you say, a particular nation or a particular state it has the freedom from political control by other countries. We say that we are, we say that we are proud of being colonized. Why do you call it independence? If we still depend on their aids, we still depend on their foods, we still depend on their medical services, the audience and the judge, the judges. Show me how can our countries in Africa get continued without their aids. For example, when you take the example of the Tika Highway, you see, there was no any African person who was involved in the construction. This was just the, me the measures and the skills and the facilities provided by the Europeans, the whites, that the guys who came up with these skills to build the Tika Highway, that we always say, that we always are proud of them. Dear judge, surely without the Europeans, Without the whites, we will be nowhere. They have contributed to our development, surely. Most of the 50%, more than 50%, they have come with them. The development we are seeing now, part of the construction, the facilities, the social amendments that we are proud of now, that we are proud of them now, they are as a result of contribution by the whites. We can't go anywhere without the aid of these guys. They have contributed so much in our development. Join me and our family that are said to ask the guys to come back and colonize us. We'll go and we'll go somewhere. We are coming from somewhere and you are heading to nowhere. Without these guys, there's no any other place you are going. See, the railway was constructed, was constructed by who? They were the Europeans who constructed this, who constructed them. You see, without their measures, their, their skills, their facilities, we will not, will not, be, will not be somewhere. They earned our parents, our great-grandfathers. They earned their, their was labor. They provide them labor, which some are still proud of them now. They still earn money now, those who get retired that time. So you see, with their development, we are surely proud of them. So let's come together and tell them again to come. The issues uh, my fellows will talk about is under development. You see, these guys are the main people who have the skills to make our, country, our countries in Africa look beautiful and so enormous. So without the whites, without the European countries, without the colonies, Africa surely is going nowhere. And yet you come from somewhere. I am Pius Silvalo, then. Opposition, you have three minutes for your opening remarks. I'm Frestic Imoli from Moy Girls High School, Vokoli. I strongly oppose the motion that says Africa remains challenged by conflict as many nations were not for independence. I myself am an African from Kenya. It's one of the states in Africa, 54 countries. I don't believe that we should come back and be colonized. We need freedom. Freedom. Freedom indeed is very nice. Something else that my the first proposal say that I tend not to agree to is the fact that we, de we tend to need the, uh, the Europeans to and everything. Like, let me say the first point that he said about the thicker road, thicker road, th thicker superhighway. And yes, 
they came and helped us. But where is, the, where is the road found? Is it found in Europe or is it found in Africa? It is in Kenya. It is our Africa, our cradle of mankind. Secondly, I would want to tell the proposers that come and join us. When we talk about education, our development systems in education, we have wings to fly. Their slogan, their, the slogan of the Wings to Fly is transforming Africa through scholarships to students. We, as students, some of us here, develop our, our skills through and get education through the Wings to Fly, which is an organization found in Africa. It is managed in Africa. We don't need the help of the Europeans. Let's look at our health sector. We have mobile clinics, AMREF. When you have any problem in Africa, we don't need them to come for AIDS so that we can get better clinic. This mobile African, the, the Africans get mobile medication. That's what I have and I believe that you should come and join us. We don't need, we don't tend, we don't need the, the Europeans so that we can have a better life in Africa. Africa is our home, it's our land. Thank you. We'll now hear rebuttals. Proposers, you have three minutes. It is always true to say that the truth hurts. This is evident because our, our competitors here have just told us that we, are, we need freedom. What type of freedom do we want when the terror attacks are, very, are too much into our country and other African countries? For example, the Kenya is being attacked by the Al-Shabaab and the Nigeria over there is being attacked by the Boko Haram. So there is no freedom that we are going to gain. They have talked about the Tika superhighway. We find that the whole of the superhighway idea was, was gotten from the whites because their roads are too much of developed that it is not easy. It is, they are too much developed that enhance our transport. But now the Kenyan government decided to borrow their idea to make the superhighway. Getting, <coughs> getting to, the, to be part of the ICC, we find that Kenya and other African countries go to the part of ICC because the leaders are incompetent and do not want to, to rule, but they do not want to serve, but they want to rule. This is evident because we find that most of our leaders go into the government not to serve us, but they want to rule to show that they have power over the people and the citizens of the country. So when they have been voted in, they see that they are superior more than the others, that they do not have that heart to serve people, but to rule people. Greed for power. For example, our, our neighbors, the Zimbabwe, we find that their leader, Robert Mugabe, has been their leader since independence up to now. Why? Because he's greedy for that power. He wants to get more wealth because of the power but he does, he, he does not think of the life of other citizens. He just thinks of himself. So we find that when this greed comes into them, they do not want to leave that power. And like the white states, we find that when someone's term has ended, it has ended. The person, cannot, the person does not have that urge to go back into power since he thinks that he has done more and he needs to leave space for somebody to, to make the country more developed so that he can cover up for the space that he left. So we find that, so we find that this greed for power has made Africa not to be developed like the whites. So it is not right to tell us that, it is not right to tell us that Africans remain, it is not right to tell us that Africans are not challenged by the conflict as many nations are, are as many nations have independence, because we find that most of these nations, yes, they have independence, but conflict are most into them, and they are not even being developed. But through the aid of the whites, the whites are trying to help them, though they are not, they are not into Kenya, they are in their countries. Take this situation. If the whites, whites used to still rule the Kenyans, we would find that Kenya would be a more developed country into Africa. Thank you. Opposition will now hear your rebuttal. You have three minutes. Well, they talk about, they talk about the, the China people who come, to, who come to make our roads. But what can we say, the positive about that? That they 
come here and we learn from them. We get we be knowledgeable about what they do and we make them better. Also, let's take an example of the Kenya Uganda Railway. It was made in 18 1899 until 1901, and Kenya has been able to Kenya has been able to maintain it until now, and that is how it's being used. Also, to onto my point, there are transparent elections in Africa. Let's take an example of Nigeria. They have been able to conduct a new electoral process that has enabled them to elect their excellency, Buhari. This has enabled them to have peaceful elections and that has reduced conflicts in the area. Also, improved disaster management. Yes, we have disasters in Africa, but how we overcome those disasters will enable us to know if you are really ready for independence or not. Let's take an example of Ebola that came, that attacked the West African countries. If the leaders had, if the leaders refused to help, if the leaders were not willing to help them, there will be a lot of conflicts in the area. But we see that specialized doctors, equipment were brought in the area that helped them very much. Also, Pan-Africanism. What is Pan-Africanism? This is a movement meant to unify Africans. How can we say it unifies Africans? Let's take an example of an organization like African Union. It has its own military. This has enabled to conduct peaceful missions in that even the other African countries have been able to help others. Let's take an example of Somalia. They're faced with a lot of challenges. That is war. Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania have brought in their troops to help maintain peace. That is a good thing. Also, there is reduced dependency. Like Nigeria, they, they have their own, their own resources, like oil. They're able to exploit the oil, and this has enabled them to have a stabilized economy. And also, the African leaders have dis, have, are willing to establish an international criminal court in Tanzania so as to, also as to minimize on them going to the ICC abroad in Hague, and they are able to conduct their own ju judging. Thank you. Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. The proposers have been asked, would we not be victims of attacks if we were still under the colonial rule? And the opposition had talked about Ebola and they, would, and they talked about specialized doctors treating Ebola. Are these doctors African or European? We'll have them respond to the questions. <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes. That reminds me of the prodigal son who went to the dad and asked part of the possession of the dad as his own belongings and went to the far countries and embezzled it. What did he do? He thought that when I, was, when I was under the care of my dad, I was a bit better. So with that note, I am Molungo Brian from Butere Boys High School, ready to propose the motion that Africa remains challenged by conflicts as many nations were re not ready for independence. First and foremost, I'll start to refute my opposers, the opposers. You talked of the AMREF. 
you've not told us who are these managers of the AMREF, who are the executive officers or the executive leaders of the equity banks that offer their the wings to fly stuff. Then you have talked about the Thika Superhighway. How many civil engineers do we have in Kenya? Why do you give the contract to the, out, to the outside countries, yet we have the civil engineers who can perform it better? So, do you think, don't you think that whatever they exploited in Africa was enough that you still follow them, you give them the contracts to come and contract, construct the thicker superhighway? Why? Then, uh, you've talked of Ebola. Thank you for the audience to pose the question. I'm trying to just reinforce it, the question to the opposers. You've talked of Ebola. From which countries are these qualified doctors coming from? Do we have any doctor from Africa who has tackled the issue of Ebola? And what are the statistics? What are the evidence that you've given us? Now, I'm backing, I'm backing to the question of the audience. You asked that um, about the terror attacks, that when these guys come back, we will not be having the terror attacks. Um, I'm assuring you by asking you a question, though it is not allowed as it is raised by the audience, but allow me to do this. During the Yarein or the foreign rule, how many times did you hear of terror attacks, either in Somalia or in Kenya? So with that, these guys just have to come back if they are to. Now back to my point. We have talked, uh, the Kenyan, the African countries, uh, being their states, they have to, they have the constitutions. To take, for example, the constitution of Burundi. What is going on in Burundi? The president is supposed to serve only two terms of five years each. What is the president doing? I want to pose this question to the audience. Who is the owner of Migingo? Thank you. Opposition, you also have three minutes to respond to the audience. I'm going to answer the, the question of Ebola. You asked, you want to know who are these qualified people that, are, that took part in conquering the Ebola outbreak. Now I want to tell you that these people who came to enable us manage the Ebola tragedy, as much as you think they were people from outside Africa, what if they came here and they enabled and they helped us conquer the Ebola? And let me say that people from Kenya or people from the African continent did, didn't take a part. Could that, could that tragedy be conquered? That is a question you should ask yourself. Then our pro, the proposals of the motion say that they were talking about the superhighway. Then they want, uh, you, ha you want us to clarify why we, we are talking about the superhighway. I want to say that even if those people from, even if the whites enabled us to, enabled us to put up the super thicker highway, what if we are just there, we're not using the super thicker highway? Is it going to help us? No, that is a big no because if, if Kenyans just sit here, they don't want to participate in making the, the thicker superhighway help them to maintain their continent, then we are, going, we are heading nowhere. But since Kenya is using the super thicker highway, the super thicker highway, which is uh, enabling us, which is controlling uh, the traffic and uh, thus enabling Kenya to, um, to better their economy. Somebody said that we are heading nowhere. You are a Kenyan, you stay in Kenya. Kenya is in Africa. How can you say that you are heading nowhere? Do you mean that you're just here to follow whatever people are telling you? You don't want to go anywhere? I oppose you really strongly. I say that I know Kenyans have the urge to move forward. They know what they want to achieve in life, the African continent. And I want to state that it doesn't matter where you are coming from, it doesn't matter where you are, but it matters where we want to move to. And I'm sure that the African continent are ready to move forward. They, are, they have the urge to express themselves and they have the urge to achieve that which will better their lives. Opposing the motion, I want to state that we have industrial development in our country. For instance, let's take an example of the agro-based industries. For example, all of us here take tea. Even if you don't take tea, at least a good number take tea. Where does that tea come from? The agro-based industries in Kenya. Ketepa, a good example. That is to show that African nations were ready for independence because they are able to 
provide what will maintain their own. We'll now hear closing remarks. Proposers, you have one minute. Back on stage again. The same, same Mulungo Brian from the Butere Boys High School. Now, first of all, uh, our dear judges and the audience, we've talked about no observation of the set rules in the constitutions. As the, uh, the independent states have their constitutions, why is Burundi not adhering to the constitution of their country? We have the terror attacks due to the unknown reasons. Why should we Leave, why should we hold power in our arms, yet we don't have the security we need? Well, the struggle of uh, power through firearms. We talk of Uganda, right away from the first train of Yori, His, His Excellency Yorick Aguta Museveni. That guy, from the, his first train, he was never elected. It was power overthrown. So why you, do I do leave power to the malicious guys who kill, who kill or eradicate human beings in order to attain power? Oh, we have the struggle for the boundaries. Talk of Southern Sudan. What are they undergoing? Talk of um, getting part of the ICC. Is it of any essence? We have our courts. We can carry out our, we can carry out our judgment or in our courts and there is no need of going to the ICC. So with that, I rest my case by urging our prodigal daughters to go back to their fathers and plead for Forgiveness. Thank you. Opposition, you also have one minute for your final remarks. As I stand here, I want to change the motion. I want to say that Africa does not remain challenged by conflicts as many nations were ready for independence. For instance, it is a fact that Africa is the youngest nation, and Africa being the youngest nation, it means that we are able, we have the energy, and we are ready to move the continent to greater heights in terms of development. Please, just join me. Let us appreciate our country. This is Kenya, Kenya is in Africa. Let us join hands, please. Take it as a fact. I thank you. Moi Girls High School again. For you, what you're saying is that Africa is not challenged by conflict as many nations were ready for independence or Africa remains challenged by conflicts um, as a result of other things. Not, not uh, you know, because of uh, the, the, the short time that they were colonized, but there are other things that, uh, you know, then make Africa challenged, uh, you know, by, by conflict. Is it tribalism? Is it, um, you know, poor leadership? You know, is it poverty? Is it disease? And these are the things that are then making us, you know, um, building the conflict in Africa uh, and not the fact that they were colonized for shorter durations of time. There's a lot of dwelling on terrorism. But is this the kind of conflict that we were talking or that the motion was, was, was talking about? Not necessarily. <laughs> For Panga, I would want to ask, you know, when you start a team and you make some uh, particular statements, for example, like one of the continents that have 54 countries is Africa. That simply means there's another continent with 54 countries, you know, when you say such statements. And you say also, one of, one of them is the Kenya. You know, that talks about even the language that you're speaking about. For Brian, you know, you make some very... Uh, 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 dangerous statements like when you say that the president of Uganda killed to maintain power. You know, you, do, you don't say such statements here without facts, all right? So it's good to be very careful on what you're doing. And so, you know, for you, especially for Butere, I thought you would have really dwelt on the countries that were colonized for long, such as South Africa, you know, and what we have seen in terms of development for them. And now, on the other team as well, would have seen conflicts that are even imagined from even the same country, is it? But there were no such examples. That simply means you need more time to prepare, is it? Thank you. As a debater, when you take the stage, there is attention, the primary attention. But you see, the secondary attention, I really struggled to give you my attention. I'm sorry to say this, but I was counting minutes. I was really wanted the debate to end, actually. Especially when you make serious allegations. To Butere boys, you are safer not making a statement than making it when you do not have facts to back it. 
So what I'll advise the two teams is, let's watch a lot of the great debaters content on, contest rather on TV. Let us see how other schools debate in order to improve our debating skills. Does that mean that all hope is lost? No. You are six promising debaters, but you see there is a standard to Butere boys and Moi girls, and you want to be amongst the top. Therefore, if you want to do that, you need to improve on your debating skills. Moi girls, are we together? Butere boys, are we together? Fair debate. Next time, we can do better. The judges awarded Butere Boys High School with 50%. Please give them a round of applause. Moi Girls Vokoli, the judges awarded you also 50%. It's a tie. Give them a round of applause, both teams on stage. We'd like to thank you for watching. And of course, our thanks go out to Safaricom M-Pesa and to KBC Channel One. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA. I have been your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yambok. Catch you next time. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa.